to you today from uh, Disneyland in Anaheim, uh, California. They're celebrating their 35th year. And it was just last year that we were out to the coast for the first time. Marina Del Rey. Yes. And uh, Don Rickles came on the show. And, of course, you may, some of you may remember I was terribly ill. That, you had pneumonia. Uh, had terribly. pneumonia. was laying on my deathbed. This was almost mine. And... <laughs> And Don came up, came down to my room yes. to cheer me up. And here's a little bit of that conversation. Yeah. Well, he tried. <laughs> well, the last thing he allegedly said to me on that tape was, you got a week to live. I know. But I fooled him. I hung you around You sure anyway. did. A lesser man would have been dead, That's but here you are. <laughs> He's appearing at Bally's in Atlantic City on September 22nd and 23rd. He's standing backstage right now. He's just demolished Mickey Mouse. And here he is, Don Rickles, everybody. Yes. Game, game producing again. Oh. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. Oh, my. Is what? this on? Yeah. You got about an hour. <laughs> Gee, you, you're better again, huh? I, I, I love props. <laughs> this, is, this is a treat, Disneyland. I, I, I was here... I was here about uh, 10 years ago when Mickey Mouse came over and said hello, and I punched him right in the mouth. <laughs> Something about that mouse. Yeah. It, it, it's great. It's great to schlep all the way out here to be with you on your schlep show. Schlep all the way out. We sent a helicopter for Mr. Rickles, $400 an hour, no expense spared. Chop it, you're right in. That's right. And we landed, and the pilot said, don't stay. It's a bad place. <laughs> Look at all these people. They yeah. spent all this money to get these seats. This nice? Some kind of old. Sure. Why wouldn't you get a turnout? There's a guy by the gate going, well, come on, watch Regis, come on in. Here, here, it's free. You'll get candy and a trip around the world. And look who's sitting in the front. Have you ever met my producer, Michael Gilman? Is that the kid? Yeah. That's you still one. got the pimples? <laughs> <laughs> Sits in the bathroom at night going, look at that one. He doesn't know how right he is. <laughs> Chase, Michael, looks good. No socks. That's the new thing. Yeah. Right. I knew it was you. I thought it was me for a minute. Here. <laughs> Get yourself sprayed. <laughs> anyway. And, and you met Cody backstage? Oh, that was a bit. The kid's wonderful. Yeah. He really is. is he really, he? He's running around with a helmet on going, tackle me. <laughs> he's a wonderful child, really. Thank Good you, Don. I know you love children. And I know. And Frank is now, what, 74? Yeah. <laughs> and Frank's still in this. Come on, Cody. Come on. Cody. <laughs> They're going to turn oh. on you. They love Frank. Boo, boo. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> What do you know? Frank sits in a booth going, Wait, was that a touchdown, Lou? <laughs> They're talking like Frank's a rocket scientist. <laughs> you got lost stuff. These are bad seats. <laughs> anyway, uh, these so, people. What are the people with the tags? You're from some sort of camp? That's a ticket to get in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> eight feet high, the ticket is. <laughs> now, as you may know, Mr. Rickles has just completed a tumultuous 10-day 11-city tour yes. with Pia Zadora. Well, and Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra was there too, I think. Wasn't you see, oh, see that remark? You're going to love it in Brooklyn on a hook. <laughs> I'm telling Frank. You and does Frank ever, ever ask about us? Once he went, uh, Regis and, and our cab hit your aunt. <laughs> no, never talk. I never. He's, yeah, right. Where's he going with you? You're going no place. <laughs> You're hot for five minutes. This is all going to end. You go back to your old job. You're going to Joey Bishop's car. <laughs> He was with Joey Bishop a hundred years ago. It's a long story. <laughs> now he has a big house in New York and he just sits there going, hit the buzzer and bring in Joy. That's his wife. <laughs> she has to play maid. But what was it like working with Frank? It was great. I ran in front of the car and checked for grenades. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you get up every morning and say, Frank, you're marvelous, you know. <laughs> you don't do that, he slaps your wife. But, uh, no, he's a marvelous star. Frank, yeah. if you're watching this and I doubt that. <laughs> When he starts watching Regis and Kathy from Disneyland, yeah. I'm going to put him in a hole. <laughs> but uh, Frank Sinatra's a great star. I, I, I heard that for 11 days. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, of course, my lips are chapped from walking behind him going... <laughs> 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 it's rough and he walks fast. Very you know. <laughs> but you do it just to keep your of name course, alive. Of course, of course. You don't get a break like you two guys at Westbury <laughs> <laughs> sold out with the tickets of $4. Yeah, this weekend, if you're in New York, maybe I can get you in. Oh, please. Because I want to hear when Irish eyes are smiling, one of the hit tunes <laughs> of Penny's all time. Pennies from Heaven. Oh, that's his new one now, Pennies from Heaven, right. Yeah. You always sang and you always stung. <laughs> Hey, hey, folks, I'm only telling... Hey, for the money you're paying, that's a funny joke. 
I mean, there's no voting. You, you people were out in line at four in the morning just so you could see Cody throw up. <laughs> now, have we talked about Cody too much? No, the kid is wonderful. If that makes Kathy happy, yeah, and, you know, it I helps said. you and have a partner, you know. <laughs> you know what happened to the other partners. <laughs> <laughs> they all left. Anyway. Uh, that's right. Keep me very happy. That's right. You know, he, he went through everybody. Because <laughs> I used to be very close. He'd sit in the trailer with me and tell me, how are we going to dump this one? <laughs> anyway, uh, great, great chairs. We'll chip in and get a carpenter to put a nail in. <laughs> What about yep. Pia Zadora? Was she fun to She's work with? She's wonderful. She's a lovely lady. She really is. Her husband's a multimillionaire, and they <laughs> kept giving me money to stand next to her. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, she's a, she's a lovely girl, and her husband is, is great. And she sang great, and Frank enjoyed her, and I enjoyed her. And, and it, was a, it was a lot of helicopters and a lot of planes, and that's why I said send a helicopter for me. But, you know, two hours on the freeway no, not, not for right. this, and it's syndicated. You yeah. know, this is on in Iowa at four in the morning <laughs> with some guy milking a cow going, they're on, Rose! <laughs> Regis and so Kat, true. Khan. keep milking, keep yeah. milking. But you skyrocket. It's better to be in local. You know what I mean? We're hot right now. Oh yeah. Well, hey, hey, it hey. stove gets hot, then it cools <laughs> off. But let me. Uh, you also were at the White House this summer. Yes, that was a big thrill. Uh, president George... called you himself? No, the president of Hadassah. Yes, the president. <laughs> yes, uh, George Bush. In fact, uh, he he called about three times and asked me uh, to come to the White House. And uh, all three times we were. Busy doing Too things. Too busy to go to the president when well, he called? Well, sure. Why, did you ever spend an evening with him? <laughs> <laughs> you also don't get paid to do the White House, right? Uh, you don't get paid. No, it was one, I, that's the first time I met you. At, yes. the, at the inaugural for Ronald Reagan. That's exactly right. But George Bush has been a great friend to uh, Barbara and I and his lovely wife, Barbara. And we were invited to the White House, and Joe, Joe Morgan was with us. You know, the black ball player? Yeah. He, kept, he was in the main ballroom hitting grounders to himself. <laughs> anyway, uh, but we had a wonderful time, and yeah. I sat next to Mrs. Bush at the uh -huh. dinner. <laughs> and she kept saying, you want another, you want another belt? <laughs> oh, there's my train. <laughs> it's the 941 to Westbury. But we had a, we had a great time. Did you get up and perform at the White no, House? No, no, no. Uh, well, I wasn't performing. I was a guest. Uh, what, he called, what he called was performing uh, the vice president. Uh, Dan, Dan Quayle. Quayle. Dan Quayle. By performing, he was walking around the lobby going, is there any secret service? Somebody guard me. <laughs> the little guys with pop guns. Did I get him? Oh, anyway. God. Oh, no, he's this charming guy. You know, we had a couple of belts together. It was great, you know. And, and George Bush sat right next to I was amazed about my seating because sitting next to Mrs. Barbara Bush. How do you like that? And the, the occasion was, and I'm a Jewish boy from New York, and we were honoring the president of Tunisia. <laughs> and he came in with his sheet and four other guys going, <laughs> and they were smelling the rug for about a half hour. <laughs> I hate it I when they, they do were that. The carpet yeah. it was the <laughs> Smelling the rug. Smelling the rug. That's what the one guy came in and said, Mokhtar Salam al He started to smell the rug. I said, Don't do that. The president's here. Sit up. Sit up. It's the guy's religion. Oh, that's so wanted me to say that. She loves Bob Newhart because, you know, Bob yeah. Newhart's a dear friend of mine. Yes, We're going is. to Europe this year, unless, God forbid, you know, yeah. somebody out in the desert gets moody. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> then there'll be no trip. <laughs> but Bob doesn't mind. No bullets, nothing bothers nothing him. Bob. He just stammers his way through everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Kathy worked with him, and Bob's a good friend, and uh, he couldn't be here today because she didn't want to give him a helicopter. <laughs> anyway, uh, going by bus is a long ride. Which, it's well, going to be a whole new world for him, right? Does he have a new series coming on? Or? No, he will, though. He reads the phone book and they put it on the air. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's really you can do anything See that? The funny. bee was trying to sting the Jew. <laughs> sting the Jew and win a trip to Disneyland. <laughs> now don't forget, Don will be at Bally's in Atlantic City later this month, on September 21st and 22nd. It's that's, this weekend, isn't it? That's right. It's this weekend. Well, you mean while Kathy and I are in Westbury? Yes. Nearly yes, sold out? Yes. We'll, we'll probably be alone with one guy with bubble gum sitting in the front going, I'm going to Westbury later. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll do great. I mean, when you see tickets for $4 and fruit and candy, <laughs> how, how can they miss? Jeanette McDonald and Nelson, Mc, uh, Nelson Eddy on their way back. <laughs> want you to say goodbye to Gilman. Gilman, you're a Jewish boy, right? Not that that matters. <laughs> but next year, you're going to be in this seat. Anyway, uh, good uh, luck to you, Gilman. All right. And I'm a friend. Get the nose fixed. <laughs> anyway, uh, Everybody, we'll be right back with the Los Angeles Laker girls in a moment.